Hotstar, Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, these three streaming services need no separate introduction. In fact, I'm sure, like me, many of you are staying at home and streaming some movie or TV series or the other. So with no end to the lockdown in sight, I decided why not compare these three streaming services, talk about their pros and cons, and find out which one of them is the most bang for the buck. Hey guys, Omurto here from C4E Tech and if you do end up liking this video, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications by hitting that bell icon. So let's kick things off by comparing the regional catalog. First, we are going to compare the regional movies. This is where Amazon Prime Video shines. We have a lot of great films here across many different languages. Hindi, Tamil, Telugu, Marathi, Bengali, Kannada, Punjabi, Malayalam and Gujarati. It's a nice mix of old and new movies on Prime Video, miles better than anything Netflix has to offer. In fact, while Netflix has tried to come up with original movies in regional languages, in my experience they have always fallen short of meeting expectations. Hotstar, on the other hand, has a much more limited catalogue but I feel that it does better than Netflix in this regard. Now, when it comes to regional TV series, Hotstar takes the cake. We have a bunch of live TV channels to choose from with a huge selection of daily soaps. If you are thinking of being a cord cutter and you have someone at home who is an avid fan of daily soaps, then Hotstar becomes a must have. However, when it comes to Hotstar originals, the choices are fairly limited and not really that great. Netflix and Amazon Prime have much better offerings. Sacred Games and Mirzapur are original TV series that I think everyone knows of. Ok, so moving on from regional to international content. Again, Amazon Prime has a really good selection here. Wide varieties of films, both old and new, and they keep on adding new and exciting ones, like Parasite. Yes, the Oscar winning Parasite is streaming on Amazon Prime now. Movies seem to be a sore point for Netflix. It's got a lot of movies, including Netflix originals, that it continues to shove down your throat. And trust me, I've seen most of them. They aren't great. Hotstar, on the other hand, has much slimmer pickings, but most of their international catalogue is well thought out and worth watching. What's more, they are now also streaming Disney Plus content in India, which means that all Disney and Pixar movies are available through the platform. When it comes to international TV series, Netflix takes the cake. They have some of the best ones that are airing right now. In fact, I'm watching the latest season of Money Heist now and it's so good. Anyways, coming back, Netflix has a wide variety of shows here, from satirical works like The Good Place to comedies like Brooklyn Nine-Nine and of course, a lot of horror. Stranger Things, The Haunting of Hill House and The Walking Dead are all excellent watches. On top of that, we have Netflix originals like Black Mirror and Altered Carbon. And if you're into anime or otherwise animated content, Netflix has a pretty decent collection of those too. Switching to Amazon Prime, we have a vast selection of older TV shows here. Psych and The Mentalist are still a great watch. Speaking of newer offerings, we have ones like Young Sheldon and Amazon's own Jack Ryan. And finally, with Hotstar, we have some premium content including HBO Originals, Game of Thrones, Westworld, they're all here on Hotstar. On top of that, Star Wars fans like me would love that with Disney+, Plus, The Mandalorian can now be streamed on Hotstar. Ok, so now that we have seen what movies and TV shows these platforms carry, let's take a look at how they perform on our smartphones as well as on the bigger screen. Looks wise Netflix is the best. It's slick, it's fast and the entire user experience here is very polished. Amazon Prime on the other hand has kind of a dated look to it. But the fact that it gives more information about what I'm about to watch like IMDb ratings and details of the cast makes it my favourite. Another thing, if you're streaming these apps through a smart TV, then Netflix tends to autoplay movies and TV shows and that's something that annoys me. But Netflix has its redeeming features as well. The skip intro button is an absolute game changer that even Amazon Prime Video is now starting to adopt. Hotstar, well the less said about it the better. It's got a lot of bugs in it. From not remembering where we last left off to straight up crashing while just trying to navigate to the next episode. The UI here is a mess. Also, last time when Ash ran into a problem with his Hotstar account, he found out that even changing passwords doesn't sign you out of old devices. So what this means is if someone manages to get hold of your credentials once, you may never be able to kick them out of your Hotstar account again. Finally, we come down to the price. Well, we have different tiers for Netflix, the cheapest being the mobile option. 
at 199 rupees a month it gives us access to only 480p content on our mobile or tablet screens the video quality here isn't really worth it if it's not too much of a stretch then opting for the 649 or 799 a month plan gets us hd and ultra hd streaming respectively Netflix also has separate profiles which means even if you share an account with let's say other members of your family you can still have your own separate viewing space and you can start off directly from where you had left any movie or TV series. Coming to Hotstar, well they have increased their rates by a fair bit after the introduction of Disney Plus. So we now have two tiers, Disney Plus Hotstar VIP subscription that costs Rs 3.39 per year. So that's a very small 34 rupees increase in price. And then we have the flagship Disney Plus Hotstar Premium subscription that now costs $2.99 a month or Rs 1.499 per year. That's a 500 rupee increase from the previous $9.99 per year. And finally we have Amazon Prime Video. It costs $9.99 a year or Rs 129.00 a month but it comes with a lot of extra goodies like free next day delivery from Amazon, Amazon Music and also Prime Reading through the Amazon Kindle app. So, which one of these three is the best? Well, that comes down to the type of shows you prefer. Love HBO and Disney movies? Or want some regional daily soaps? Then Hotstar is your option. Love watching recent English TV shows or maybe some anime too? Then Netflix would be perfect for you. But for the vast majority of you, if you just want to watch some quality entertainment and you aren't too picky about the UI or the TV show, if it's still airing or not, then Amazon Prime Video has the most varied library at the cheapest price. Honestly, I wouldn't mind paying $9.99 for the video services alone. But with Amazon Prime Delivery and all other services stacked onto it, I think Prime Video is a great deal. And that's been it for my recommendations. Now I want to know yours. Which one of these streaming platforms is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Also, did we miss out on any of your favorite features from your preferred platform of choice? Again, let us know in the comments. So that's been it for this video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe and all that. Also, turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot for sticking around till the end. Have a good one, guys. Cheers.